Hello everyone, today I want to build a couple more rooms in this mega castle that we're building. Now if you missed last episode, don't worry. All we did is we made this little front garden, we laid down the foundation for the very first floor, and we built this, in my opinion, nice looking garden. The trees finally grew as well, which is pretty good. Today what I want to do is I want to start working on the first floor, finishing that up. The first floor is going to contain a couple different work areas, which are going to be the forge, the alchemy, as well as the workshop itself. Now, I had a bit of an issue, a bit of an oopsie, you might say. I already started working on this. <laughs> I've been recording for about an hour and realized, whoops, my mic was muted, which is fine, which means we can just kind of speed run for this. So this is going to be the workshop. As you see, if you have the correct flooring down, we'll get a 25% uh, cost reduction. And if it is in a castle with a roof and walls, it will have a speed up for 25%. This counts for pretty much everything in the game. So the things that require the workshop flooring are in this room. I already decorated it as well. I think it looks pretty nice. This room is rather small, but there's only a couple things that require this floor. So I did not have much issue with that. The forge area, however, that required a lot. There's a lot of forge stuff, as well as tailoring. But tailoring will figure out another day, I guess. So this is what I came up with for the forge. The forge is split into two rooms. Which is like the actual forges are in this room, so I can have the different floor, and it doesn't look so weird, and there is like a barrier between. There's an open spot here. This open spot is reserved for the anvil. It's gonna go like right here somewhere. It'll probably not really fit nicely, I will admit, but we'll have to roll with those punches once we get to it. I just don't have the supplies to make that yet. I'm missing the dust for it. And with dust, I do mean the spectral dust. I just haven't gotten a lot of that. Yeah, the forge, in my opinion, looks pretty snazzy as well. Especially this area with the, uh, like, actual forges. Then I started working on the lobby here as well. And after placing down this carpet, I realized my microphone was muted. So that's kind of where we left off with uh, decoration. However, I did also place down the alchemy things. There's only three objects that use the alchemy flooring, at least that I have unlocked. However, one of those is this, the vermin nest. I don't want to have that in my castle itself, so I'm going to be placing that outside. Now, I don't think I touched on this last episode, but I do have somewhat of a plan for the outside here. It isn't just going to be dead grassland. Well, I say I have a plan, but I'm kind of indecisive on this. So maybe you guys can help me out. So I either want to make a small village. You know, I have the small village on the base of the cliff here with a castle on top. I think that would look pretty cool. Either that or we can make a large garden. Because we actually do have quite a bit of space back here. So we'll have to see what we do with that. So if you guys have any suggestions of what I can do with this, like, ground level, I suppose. Uh, let me know in the comments down below. However, it is time to continue working on the castle itself, of course. And for those who are wondering, yes, there are still a couple other rooms we have to make eventually, which is going to be the library, the tailoring, and I think there was a jewelry one as well. Uh, those, I think, are just going to go on top, which I have not marked out yet. So that's something we're going to have to do eventually as well. For now, though, let's continue. All right, I think that is this room done as well. The blood press is kind of hidden away by now. It's kind of crazy. Well, since it just turned daytime, I can't really work out here. So that sadly means I have to work on this big area. Well, I'll say sadly, it's just, uh, I don't know. I'm, I guess I'm just not looking forward to it a lot. Because it's so huge, I don't really know what to do here. You know, I was thinking about placing my throne on one of the higher levels, but I might just place it down here. It means that I'm going to have to shorten this a bit. And I have some banners behind it. You can't really see it very well. But it actually looks pretty neat like that. I will admit this does look kind of weird because it is off-centered. Something I totally forgot is that we actually have wallpapers. Oh, this panel here has a bunch of tools. Oh, that actually looks really neat like that. There we go. The forge room is also done. It's more of a brick design. There we go. Have some sort of droopy but yet clean wallpaper here. This one does look kind of weird, because I cannot give the stairs a wallpaper. I can place a wall down here, I'm pretty sure, but eh, I guess it looks fine like that. One thing I also want in here, actually, is this mimic chest. You know, I wish some of these things would provide way more light than they do. Alright, that looks like it kind of gets light. It's probably 
Probably the main reason why it looks so dark is because the floor is pretty dark. So I wish we had a couple more options for like the coloring of this. Because I would like to have these tiles, but maybe in a bit of a lighter gray. Kind of probably like the type of gray that these are, right? But around, I think this area looks pretty alright so far. Just got a couple things left to do over here. Right, I just hung up a couple paintings, which I think is fine. I think the hallway here is pretty good. This thing is kind of off-centered, however. I thought I fixed that. There we go, now it should be on-centered. Well, let's actually start working on this. This is where things are going to be fun again, because I can use some of these. I really like using the garden stuff here. I do need to get some more sculpted wood, though. But I think I was making that, so that should be fine. All right, I was. I'm just making some more now, as well as painting frames. I wish we had pot that kind of looked like this, but except for the top part. I think that would be really nice. Well, I got some bad news. It looks like I'm running low on iron. Should have enough still for today, though. I might just have one of these bone braciers up here as well. All right, that starts to look pretty good. All right, I think with that... The outside here is done as well. So I'll place this path here in the middle. This kind of helps break up the like, regular floor here. I think that looks pretty good. This, though, I'm not really too happy with. And I don't really know how to change much of it. Could change it up a little like this. It just kind of looks odd in a way as well. Is this just that this space right here is like overly massive? It's a lot bigger actually than I thought before I started placing on all these decorations. Like I knew it was big, but I didn't think it'd be this big. With that though, I think we've done quite a bit this episode. Like we actually finished the first floor, which is kind of ridiculous. So now when you walk up the stairs, you're greeted to this nice little seating area outside. Then you walk inside, we get this nice little hallway, which leads to the throne room. And we can go outside to see what the hell all these menaces are doing. We can study alchemy in here. I actually really like this room. I think it looks pretty neat. Then we go to the other hallway. So we do the workshop stuff. I wish we had a bit more space and I could put down a second grinder, but I guess I'll be alright. And then, of course, the forge, which is split in two. With that, I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye, everyone.